Where did you first meet Ron Howard? I met Ron. him on the Paramount lot uh, uh, weeks after I got in trouble. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I had this discipline at the time where I would, w I would make a point to meet a new person who was principally making a difference in the media business, mm -hmm. movies or television, every single day. So I looked at my window. I was on the third floor of the director's building right above Robert Evans um, on the lot. And I saw Ron Howard. I thought, wow, there's Richie Cunningham right there. <laughs> I'm going to yell out the window. I open my window. I yell out the window. I go, Ron, Ron Howard, like that, and start waving. Ron, very shy, mm -hmm. ran from me, like ran around the, the soundstage. <laughs> And I guess we went to his office. I called his office an hour later just to say, hey, I was the guy that reached and yelled out a run, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm on the lot, too. Mm -hmm. I'm a, a television producer on the lot. I know what he, I, of course, know who Ron Howard is. Can we meet? That was to his assistant that worked with him for 35 years, Louisa Velez. So we meet that day in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and he just had this aura about him that made me feel like not only is he a good person, but he will win at things he tries to do. He just had this glow and uh, gravitational force where I thought he was going to win at things that he tried to do. And he was one to be uh, a, a mainstream uh, movie director, theatrical movie director, and ultimately became a master by winning a couple of Oscars. No doubt about that. And was Night Shift the first Night Shift thing was our that you first Released in 1982. Um, We've had Henry Winkler here talking about it. And, and oh yeah. by the way, one of the sweetest people on planet Earth. Yes, for sure. And he, he was talking about how how the, there was a process to cast Michael Keaton yeah. in that. What are your, What's your recollection of, well, of my, that? Well, I know where my recollection was. Um, uh, we just read everybody. Mm -hmm. And Michael Keaton came in. It, unknown, he was relatively unknown, and he acted out the scenes in a way that that we just said that has to be our guy, even though he's unknown. Many stars wanted to be in it, but we didn't. Ron and I just didn't think they were right. That that we didn't. We just didn't have. We were not in, in alignment with the vision of these stars that w said yes. Mm -hmm. But Michael Keaton was raw, very spontaneous. Um, seemingly like just uh, just from the cuff. And I remember he, anyway, I remember all the scenes he put, uh, mm -hmm. acted out. And uh, then we put him with Henry Winkler and it was a match. Well, do, do you recall which one he he nailed where you're like, that's the, the end of it? he nailed was when he goes, he pretends he's shooting a basketball. Mm -hmm. He goes, through the hoop, it's all, everybody's, you know, everybody's cheering, it's in. You mm -hmm. know, that this whole thing yeah. of, of shooting a basket through a hoop and some final match, you know, that he, has, he invents. And then mayonnaise to tuna, he did this scene where he says, you gotta, I've got an idea. You gotta feed mayonnaise to tuna. <laughs> and that was, you know, he had all these brain ideas. Sold, yeah. pretty much. Uh, yeah. is, there, is there a screen test that you were involved with in your career that leaps out at you the most? That was wow. the win for you whether it was discovering somebody or it made the movie or anything like that. We had to do many, many screen tests on Tom Hanks uh, because uh, he also wasn't a star. For this Splash? Was this, this is one? for Splash. Okay. And um, so I think the screen test that he had to do with Daryl Hannah. So we Tom had to do many screen tests for himself. Daryl Hannah, who I just felt like, had to be the mermaid, had to do um, a film screen test, a video screen test, a screen test with Tom. The studio over and over said, again said, and this was a prior to, of course, Bob Iger getting there, uh, it was um, the son-in-law of Walt Disney, mm -hmm. Ron Miller. He said, there's no evidence that she can act at all. I go, you don't understand. <laughs> She doesn't have to ask. She just has to be fragile. Right. And she has to be compelling. Yes. Which she was. Because she had these eyes. This. Oh, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember Splash. Yep. I remember yes. her. So yeah. again, you were just pulled into her. Yeah.
And uh, but you still you had a screen test Tom Hanks though. He, he we had, had to screen test Tom Hanks too for both. Both of them we had to. Is it true John Candy was hung over for the racquetball scene? Yes, for for real. For real, he stayed out with Jack Nicholson till like four or five in the morning, and then he went right to work. He was John Candy was had a lot of endurance. I mean, really <laughs> a lot of endurance. When when before we hired before John Candy would say yes mm -hmm. to that role because he was the most famous of of all of them no doubt he said the only way I do this if I is if I meet Brian you know meet me mm -hmm. and see if there's chemistry and so I went to a Mexican restaurant right across the street from uh, Warner Brothers and he had seventeen small rum and cokes. <laughs> But he he drank them like just one after the next, and he just lit up and was fun and but it wasn't it never got sloppy just mm -hmm. kept going. The night with Nicholson, I think he overdid it. You know, <laughs> um, so he like literally ran into the ball that hit him in the head. That was that was real. That was real. We you know we anticipated we we thought first our, we knew we'd have to shoot it in two shots right. Sure. But we didn't have to because the minute he hit that ball, it hit him right in the head. He couldn't get out of the way of it. <laughs> so we, it was all, was all one shot. It's just like... <laughs> yeah. It was lucky it didn't hit him in the eye. Amazing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That was a fun movie. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.